Okay, hello YouTube. I um, decided to just um, kind of get into a little bit what um, sorts of videos I'd like to make in the future. And um, I am once again laying down um, as I often have to do. So I apologize for camera shaking and uh, all that kind of stuff. Um, so what do I have to offer the gothic community that you can't get everywhere else? Well, I've been thinking about it, and the gothic community used to, or the gothic um, aesthetic has been influenced by many, many, many things, and in the very beginning, um, there was a lot of literary and um, uh, artistic influences that I don't know um, if people are as aware of as they could be. Um, so what I'd like to do is to kind of take you through some of these things and introduce you or perhaps just remind you about um, some of the artists and art movements um, and some of the literature uh, and poetry um, and history that have influenced the Gothic subculture. Um, so, uh, in addition to doing, say, um, a uh, tour of my apartment that shows you my collection of, say, Victorian morning jewelry or something like that, um, I'll talk about the history of it, which I already mentioned. But, um, in addition to that, um, what I'd like to do is talk about things like... Um, like silent films and how their aesthetic uh, has influenced the gothic style and look. Um, things like uh, romantic poetry, um, Byron, Shelley, Keats, Wordsworth, etc. Um, these poets really influenced um, our subculture and it's quite beautiful stuff. Um, also there's some Victorian poets that are quite dark and lovely. Um, Poets besides Edgar Allan Poe and Baudelaire, there's there's other people too, um, and um, also I want to talk about artists like Aubrey Beardsley, Alistair, um, Toulouse Lautrec, um, who isn't strictly you know kind of a Gothic artist but um, still lovely. Uh, Egon Schiele, Gustav Klimt, um, the symbolist painters and poets are quite interesting. There was a movement also called the Pre-Raphaelite um, Brotherhood that you may have heard of, um, and I'd like to show you some of the artwork from that um, that movement. Um, those uh, those people as well as um, their poetry and writing. Um, individual artists like um, Elizabeth Siddle and Dante Gabriel Rossetti, um, who were part of the Pre-Raphaelite movement, I'll talk about them and show pictures and hopefully I'll figure out how to use the editing software so that I can make it really interesting. Um, they're not going to be dry, I, I promise they'll be interesting. Um, and lively, you know, and um, things like, uh, let's see, what else is I thinking about? Um, God, there's just so many things. Uh, oh, yeah, right. Um, some of the more obscure vampire books that um, maybe came out before, before Anne Rice that are quite lovely. Um, things uh, like Dark Dance and um, uh, Chelsea Quinn Yarborough's books about um, the Count de Saint Germain. Um, those are quite wonderful. We talk about films you might not have seen, music you might not have heard of that's quite um, gothic in nature. You know, some of the some of the hidden gems. Let's just put it that way. So I hope that um, all this will be inspirational and and fascinating to you as it is to me. And um, you know, this way uh, you can be inspired to 
um, develop your aesthetic and um, develop your mind and and heart and your sensibilities and we can have um, a really uh, interesting dialogue about these um, these things so I'm really excited I hope you are too I um, I'm gonna go off and do my stuff today now um, I uh, took the time to take my makeup off, except for my eye makeup, and um, put it back on again. Um, so I've got much brighter lipstick going. It's um, Revlon 006 and um, a Palladio lip pencil. Uh, Palladio is a really great brand if you can find it. And then I put a Wet n Wild um, lipstick over it a little bit. This one that's called, um, I think it's called Cherry Bomb, or, or, wait a minute, it's like a glittery red color. I'd have to get up to actually tell you, so I'm not going to do that. Um, I'm coming to you from the prone position, laying flat on my back on my bed, as usual, and, um, the light is so great that I wanted to get this done, uh, now, so... I've, um, I've made the video, and I hope that it intrigues you. Um, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, I hope you are too. And please subscribe if you're interested, um, and also like the video. That would be really great. And if you make comments, I will try to respond to them, um, and take them very seriously, so, um, so go ahead and leave them. And, um, I do have a Facebook page under uh, Julifer De Winter, um, and I believe the spelling of my name is in here somewhere, so have a look at that. And uh, you can find my Facebook page. And I also have a Pinterest, which is kind of neat. I put a lot of interesting pictures up there. I'm a very visual person, so that's pretty great. Anyway, I've got to go mail that absinthe now, and. Um, I will um, be trying to do some of these videos pretty soon, so watch this channel. Bye!